I'm Joni. Welcome to Miss of Time Emporium. Today I'm going to be sharing a deck that's called The Doors of Somnolith. It's unlike any other deck that I have. Um, it's by Anna Cortez, illustrated by C.J. Freeman, and it's quite a unique deck. Um, this is a father-daughter duo, and um, we'll get into it. So the box opens like this. It's very, very cool. And I have to share the book because I think this deck is kind of about this book to begin with. It's a new style of reading and it's as simple or as complex as you would like it to be. So it's got the meanings for the cards, which is, you know, the same as a lot of oracle decks and that kind of thing. It's the essential card meetings. Um, but it goes into so much more and there's, it's like the uncalendar. It's a system and there's this unique writing. So this pair of creators um, has really gone deep into the numerology and um, so there's quite a few layouts and then you know you get this planetary kind of information um, all of these kinds of different layouts about how to how you can read the cards and then again kind of this magical um, inclusions about the development of the deck and um, again really unique Everything in these cards um, means something. So the suit means something, the color means something. And I know that's true of a lot of decks, you know, I mean, the main reading decks. But this is, again, an entirely different system. And it's just delightful. And then in the back here, um, they have a ceremony section. And geomantic rulers you know geomantic i think is i think i said it correctly but again additional information about these cards the precarious unification of the sun and moon anyway I, i'll get to the cards i promise but i think it's really important to understand and i will um show you this page here about the author and the illustrator and um, the father, C.J. Freeman, was a self-taught artist, a uh, Freemason, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. I know his name is Freeman, but I thought he was, I may be incorrect in saying that, um, a cultist. Uh, so maybe, I guess, not formally. Um, of a particular group, but I, I remembered that he was an occultist. So um, there's the book. And again, you can go into this book for days, <laughs> like just days and days and days, um, lifetime really. And then these are the cards. It also comes now, some people may find some of these cards disturbing their, um, it's not, it's just a different art style. And some of the figures aren't kind of traditionally beautiful. So these are the backs of the cards. This is the size of the deck. It comes with the jokers. And you get some background on these cards as well. And then let's take a look at these cards. So again, it's kind of, um, you see there's some gold foiling on here. There's a name, there's a suit, and there's the different colors. So the diamonds and hearts are red, and the spades and the clubs are black. Um, just plain edges. Again, a really, so this is what I'm talking about some disturbing uh, imagery. It will be for some people. It's 
it's just absolutely a deck. So this is sort of proof that I needed um, in my collection because it is, um, I think, quite amazing. As you can see, the format of the cards and everything is quite unique, but very, you know, it, it they definitely have the feeling of playing cards as well. So it's uniquely familiar. noise you hear is Ellie in the background. <laughs> Thanks Ella for that blessing. <laughs> I love these images. So it will be, I'll be studying these for some time before I actually, you know, I've used them. But again, there's just layer upon layer upon layer of possibility for these cards. And I'm really looking forward to spending the time to learn all of the, the different possibilities. And it's a mass market deck. And the stock is, you know, standard card stock. a lot. And that is the deck for the Doors of Somlipith. I, you know, for anybody that's looking for a deeper dive into decks and into the occult, I think this is a wonderful place to either start or continue your journey. Thanks for being here today. We really appreciate it. Always appreciate your likes, subscribes, and comments. And um, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.